Hi Leo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with everybody watching. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Um, this reading will be a little bit different than my others. I got some new Oracle decks that I'm going to be using in a new spread where I'm going to look more at your partner, what they're thinking, um, how they view the connection and your mutual energies. Um, and I'm going to be using a few new decks, like I said, plus one that I made myself. Um, this is like messages from your partner. Um, so I've been really enjoying using these and I hope that you guys enjoy them as well. All right, so time is fluid. Um, so the situation that I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening or happen in the near future. And remember that roles can be reversed. All right, so let's look at the current energies for the person you are thinking about, Spirit. What are the current energies for the person that Leo is thinking about, please? Current energies, please, for the person that Leo is thinking about. What are the current energies, please, for the person that Leo is thinking about? What are the current energies for the person that Leo is thinking about? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, or commented recently. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. All right. First card out was flexible. All right. What else, Spirit? What are the current energies for the person that Leo is thinking about, please, at this time? Hmm. To the sea and time for a nap. Okay. <clears throat> so flexible is all about obviously being more flexible, more carefree, less controlling of a situation. Um, to the sea is kind of just literally it reminds me of Six of Swords energy where someone's kind of leaving somewhere or heading somewhere um time for a nap is when like you've done everything you can and it's time to rest rejuvenate um trust and let go give me one second i'm gonna look at this to this see real quick I'm just gonna read it myself okay so yeah to the seas about deciding if you want to go with the flow rather than control a situation so probably this person needs to be a little bit more flexible in your connection i'm going to clarify these but i'm just trying to see if there's anything that i possibly could be missing yeah so time for a nap is taking time out and then returning to the source with to the sea and then with being flexible like someone needs to be open-minded and adaptable here open to a situation to a person's situation so someone here is being stubborn is what i'm seeing someone here is being stubborn someone here could be prideful um someone else needs to just be more open more flexible flexible about a current connection here so let me see what other messages we can get this is the ojo sen tarot deck it's based off of traditional tarot, but I find it to be um, I find it to be very different. So I use it more like an oracle deck. So let's clarify these energies. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Leo, please. Let's start with flexible. Spirit, tell me more about flexible. What is this flexible energy about? Guilt interesting similar to the eight of swords energy so someone is feeling guilty for maybe not being flexible not not going with the flow here what can you tell me about to the sea spirit what can you tell me about to the sea All of these energies, by the way, I'm seeing them as very stationary. Almost like there's a pause here, no movement, no action. A lot of reflecting, a lot of thinking, a lot of releasing. 
abundance. So this is similar to, I believe, the King of Pentacles. But again, I'm using these as Oracle cards. So, <coughs> excuse me. So what I'm seeing here is someone's trying to decide if they want to continue to put effort into something, if they want to go after something. It's almost like a decision between stability and growth and something else. Let's get one more. Tell me more about to the sea, please. Tell me more about to the sea. What's this abundance card about? Trust. Similar to, I think this is, what is it? It's either Page of Swords or Knight. No. Page of Cups or, oh, hang on one second. Bear with me, you guys. I'm still learning these cards. Sometimes I like knowing um, what the tarot, like, version of them are. Trust. I think this is, yeah, Knight of Cups. But more than anything, I see that kind of like us taking a leap here, trusting, letting go once more with a letting go. So someone's probably trying to decide here about a path because this person is in like a boat here and there's like a little arrow pointing in a direction there. And the person's kind of just thinking, there's, they're not moving in this boat, but it's almost like they have to decide what direction they're going to go here. I feel like this person wants stability. They probably want trust in a connection or they want, you know, security in a connection, but they feel guilt about something. Probably not being flexible, not, not, you know, probably they were stubborn in the past. Tell me about time for a nap. There's guilt here. And then there's like needing to trust. Maybe you need, to, this person's gonna ask you to trust them. But Knight of Cups, that could be an apology as well. What's time for a nap about? Adventure, okay. Again, I get the sense of someone stopping to think about a path. That I believe is like um, possibly Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, yes. Doesn't look like anything with Page of Pentacles, but give me one more, please, for adventure. What I'm thinking of is like a journey. I'm thinking journey here. And also the same thing with To the Sea. Harmony. So this is like Ten of Cups. This person is going after... Fulfillment, harmony, peace. I feel like that's what your person wants, Leo. You or them, because remember, roles can be reversed. Bottom of the deck, I have letting go. Um, so I definitely feel that letting go of maybe past stubbornness, past pride is, an, is a factor here. So let's see how your person sees you, Leo. This is the wild unknown animal spirit. Oracle deck. I really love this deck. I'm still learning it, but I love it for kind of seeing how someone views you or the connection. So Spirit, how does this person that Leo is thinking about, how do they view Leo or the connection? How does this person view Leo or the connection? How does this person view Leo or the connection? <gasps> love it. We got the otter. So this is playful energy. This could also be someone that you've known a long time, since childhood possibly, for some of you. For others of you, this person is very, it's like they light up around you or vice versa. They're very playful and fun and loving and carefree. Starfish, okay. So starfish is about someone that is focusing kind of like on the outward appearance. Um, the starfish usually could be like a shallow, like someone that views someone in a shallow way. They don't really think to look past the surface of someone. And even the starfish itself doesn't know that it has more to offer 
than just the outside. Oh dear. Love it. The deer reminds me a lot of the Queen of Cups energy. They're very nurturing. They're very motherly, family oriented. So what I see here is that for someone or this person, whoever this person is, Leo, you make them very happy. It's almost like you bring out the kid in this person or you bring light into this person's life. You bring happiness joy carefree um, i feel like this person feels guilty because it's like they didn't appreciate this with these two energies what i'm getting is that this person probably didn't think to look deeper into you into what you had to offer um probably this person didn't realize what they had with the starfish here um and now that you're gone possibly or now that, you know, they're looking at this connection because they're feeling guilty about something. So that tells me that something went wrong. Um, now that they're looking back, it's almost like I messed up. This is what I want. I want this energy in my life, a peaceful energy, harming. So let's look at the mutual energies with you. See what the tarot has to say. Spirit, what are the mutual energies between Leo and the person they are thinking about? What are the mutual energies between Leo and the person they are thinking about? What are the mutual energies, please? Okay, anything else? What are the future? I got the world here. So the ending of a cycle, the beginning of something new. We got nine of cups. Nine of Cups, I immediately thought about that abundance card. The Fool, wow. These are very powerful energies here. I'm going to clarify all of these. So far I have the World, the Ace of Pentacles, wow. Nine of Cups. The Fool. And the King of Wands. Wow. Okay, let's get one more. Oops. Seven of Cups. So what I'm seeing here is someone wanting to make a stable offer here. They are taking a leap of faith. This and this energy with trust and the, the fool is very similar to me. Almost like a leap of faith. Abundance is making me think of this Ace of Pentacles down here. Someone wants to take action here, and but, but at the same time, there's possibly confusion. Um, they're probably going through their options here, trying to figure out how to go about this, possibly. Um, this person could be dreaming about you because I have time for a nap and I, I, when I see that card, I think of someone having dreams about the other person, but with the world and the fool, this person is starting a new cycle. So if you guys were together in the past, they might want a second chance, but this could also be someone completely new here. Um, maybe this is a relationship that never, or a connection that never took off here. Um, someone wasn't flexible at some point or someone wasn't able to make a decision at some point. And I think they feel guilt about that because I have a feeling that you got on that boat and went elsewhere. And now they're, they're really looking back on the world here. They're really looking back at everything they've gone through and they're thinking, I need something new. I need... I need a new cycle in my life, a new path in my life. So let's clarify these. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world for Leo. Tell me about the world. Seven of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to stand up for a new, a new cycle. Almost like they're trying to be brave about choosing a new path 
here with the seven of wands. Seven of wands cannot, <coughs> excuse me, I'm recovering from a cold. Um, seven of wands could be someone being defensive or standoffish, but in this deck, I don't know if you could see him, in this particular deck, he kind of just stands proudly and confidently. Um, and he's kind of like created a barricade back there. So it's almost like this person's like, I'm here to protect what is mine. Um, and I feel like they're trying to also protect their future. Tell me more about the world. Tell me more about the world. Spirit, what's this world energy for Leo and the person that you're thinking about? Thank you. Two of Pentacles. So this person's probably weighing their options of how to how to fight for this, how to close a chapter to begin a new one. I feel like in order to close a chapter and begin a new one, there, there has to be a decision that needs to be made. I have Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They might have to walk away from something to do this. Or maybe you walked away from them. Tell me about this Ace of Wheels. Whoa, there's way too many. Hold on. Okay. So I have the magician. Wow, yeah. Someone's manifesting an offer here. It could be you or this person. I have the eight of swords. So someone really overthinking, possibly. Probably because they don't know something or they have doubts or fears about something. I have the moon here, sign of Pisces. So it's like someone wants to manifest, but they don't have all the information or they possibly have fear or doubts here. Um, confusion. There's something that hasn't been said or communicated here. Tell me about this nine of cups. This is all about wish fulfillment here. Satisfaction. Contentment. Wow, another ace. Ace of Wands with the Empress. So a new beginning with an Empress energy is this person's Nine of Cups. Empress also reminds me a little bit of this Deer energy here. Because Empress is the mother of the deck, of the tarot, sorry. <laughs> so this person's Nine of Cups is a new beginning here. A new passion, a beginning with an Empress energy. Someone they can grow with. Tell me about the fool, okay? Seven of Pentacles. So investment. This person is probably looking back at what they invested in, um, wondering if something's gonna happen for them. Ten of Swords. So they put an ending to something that didn't grow in the past. Something that didn't go anywhere for them, didn't work out for them, and now they're they're on a new journey here with the fool. Bottom of the deck is Queen of Wands. So again, taking action, almost like I feel like this person is taking charge of their own life again. That's what I'm thinking. Tell me about this King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Whoa. Yeah, look at this, Knight of Wands. This person wants to take action for sure. Tell me more about this King of Wands. There's passion here, this chemistry, attraction. There's a desire here for growth and stability, peace. So why the guilt, you know? I feel like this person did something. We'll get more clarity on their thoughts in a minute. Justice. Yeah, this person wants to make things right. Could be a Libra. But what I'm seeing here with the Knight of Wands and Justice is someone rushing to rebalance a situation. Yeah. They want to bring stability to a situation with the King of Pentacles down there. This person's thinking long-term commitment, stability, um, getting their finances in order. Um, that could be a delay for this person. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. For Leo, please. What's the Seven of Cups about? Page of Wands. So it's almost thinking about how to send a message how to communicate this new beginning that they want so so strongly. Yeah, and look at this, they're kind of being sneaky about it with the Seven of Swords. I feel like this person probably hasn't communicated how they feel. They might surprise you, Leo, with this message. 
Chariot at the bottom of the deck, sign of Cancer here. They want to move forward for sure. They want to get this moving is what I just heard. So what would this person tell you? Actually, let's start with these. That are, um, souls. This is the Soul's Journey Tarot. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Soul's Journey Oracle deck. Spirit, tell me what else do we need to know about this situation? And then I'll pull some messages from my homemade Oracle deck that I love so much. Spirit, what else does Leo need to know about this situation? What else does Leo need to know? Oh, that was kind of sloppy. What else does Leo need to know? Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Yeah, this person is learning that they lost something good. Tell me more. What else does Leo need to know about this situation? Abundance. Again, I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire. Yeah, this person's definitely manifesting a way to get to you, Leo. They want to deliver a message. They want to grow with you. They want, I mean, they have, I have Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles here. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. I think this person blames themselves for screwing this whole situation up. Um, I don't know what they did, but they definitely are feeling the loss. So let's see, what would this person tell you, Leo, if they had the chance? Spirit, what would this person tell Leo if they had the chance? What would this person tell Leo if they had the chance? Let's connect. Yeah, this person wants to communicate. They're probably thinking, yeah, listen, they want you to listen to what they have to say to their apology, most likely. Anything else? I choose you. So that tells me this person probably chose something else or someone else. And I feel like they regret their choice possibly. And, um, or maybe they're choosing you amongst options that they have with the seven of cups there. Anything else, Spirit? Oh, we got a couple here. There are obstacles in this connection. Okay. Past life connection. And I have always loved you. Probably can't see that very well, but I can. Um, so obstacles here, I feel like, I, again, I feel like it was whatever this person did or didn't do in the past. Possibly their lack of flexibility, their lack of trust, possibly as well. Um, stubbornness, pride, ego. Um, they want you to hear them out. I feel they're going to tell you how that they've always had a strong connection with you. They've always felt very strongly for you. Um, and they want you to hear them out is what I'm seeing here. Thank you so much for checking out this reading, Leo. I hope that it resonated with some of you. If it did, please leave me a comment and let me know. Like or subscribe if you like my readings. Thank you so much for anybody that has subscribed, liked, or commented recently. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys back in another video. Take care.